YouTube back with another video. See I'm in the garage, so y'all know what that means. We got orders to pack, so I'm gonna show y'all. Boat just touched down. This boat just touched down. Wait, I'm tweaking. Hold on. No, this box from over here. I just ordered all the colors in these boxes for Black Friday because I'm gonna have some pre-made for Black Friday, but sort of these boxes, but these two boxes just or these three boxes just touched down. And look, the sample touched down too. They messed up because like the one on one is supposed to be going all the way down the leg. Like, like how the uh, sweatpants are, but they acid wash flare so uh, they acid wash flare sweats. So, yeah, but hold on, let me unbox this real quick. I'm gonna set y'all up so y'all can watch me. Oh, yeah, and we got the we got the phone right here for TikTok content. So, who we consider the E class? I don't do GS unless they gonna give me a cheap ass. Why would this look on my head for so long? And I'm dead there, gave me a heat rash. I 26, mama told me daddy wanted abortion. Imagine the loss of the fortune. I thought that I had me scorching. I thought of my mama going nine to five because of. It was small little batch this time. This like a, this is my last batch until Black Friday. Cause I'm about to do my Black Friday job or whatever. But I'm gonna sort these. I'm glad I already sorted the colors in these boxes. I'm gonna just throw these colors in the boxes that I already got made with them. But yeah, I'm gonna pack orders. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna print some labels real quick. So I'm gonna show y'all that too. Before I print these labels, I'm gonna show y'all these samples real quick. I'm not gonna lie. You can tell where it's messed up because the one on one is supposed to be lined up with the double O, which is clearly not lined up with the double O. And I don't know what type of acid wash this man did on the black, but I'm not rocking with it. But these straight, these straight, what I got on straight. And I can't find the red ones, I don't know, unless he just didn't send them. But I'm not really tripping because they was free samples anyway, so. He remaking them because I told him the design was messed up on the left leg, so yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna have some more coming in. I got some hoodies coming in. Probably gonna do some matching hoodies with the um, sweatpants. But yeah, we preparing for this Black Friday drop. Some of these sweatpants gonna be some of these sweatpants gonna be pre-made. So, but now I'm gonna print these labels. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. Cause some y'all, I don't think some y'all really know how to print labels. First thing, get you a label printer. If you a new brand owner, get you a label printer, boy. These clutch. Right here, these label printers are clutch and get you one if you're a new brand owner. Mine's not Bluetooth or whatever, so I don't know how to, what's it call it? I don't know how, any, I don't know any other way to do this, but mine's not Bluetooth, so I got a little adapter cable right here that just plug into my label printer and it plugs to my MacBook or whatever, so. About to drop my, um, my ebook for my, um, what's it called? I'm about to drop a clothing brand ebook and my IG ad method. Cause I know um, a lot of y'all were DMing me asking me uh, for my Instagram ad method. And I'm gonna just um, make an ebook for it, so you can just go to the website and just pur purchase the ad method on there. So y'all won't have to keep DMing me asking me for the IG ad method. Y'all can just go to the website. But may in the process of making that right now, so I'm gonna print these labels off. So look, first thing you wanna do if you on Shopify, you have to buy the labels and let me make sure these people address not on here. No, nah, it's not. But look, y'all can see these unfulfilled orders, right? So, y'all see these are unfulfilled orders, right? First thing you wanna do is actually let me show you an easier way. All you gotta do is click unfulfilled right here, and then I just change my date, whatever. Then I press order right here, and it just gathers all the order. And then you press create shipping label. Make sure you got the right weight and stuff because if you don't have the right weight. I think they're gonna like charge the buyer. Yeah, they charge the own um, person. Hold on. They from Little Rock. Shout, shout out them. That's my state. Little in Arkansas. They, I didn't even know that. But yeah, make sure y'all got the right weight and stuff because if you don't have the right weight, they're gonna send the package back. I mean, they're not, they either gonna send it back or they're gonna like charge the person who bought it. They're gonna charge them um, at the door or whatever. I'll figure that out if you don't have the right weight. So yeah, make sure all your right, weight's right. These labels is kind of expensive, I'm not gonna lie. And then you just buy the shipping labels. Um, hello? Oh yeah, you buy the shipping labels. I only have six labels this time because I got all the other labels printed off, but printing documents. I already bought the other labels too. I got two sets of uh, labels I gotta print off. But I'm not trying to show their address or nothing, but Go right here, top right. It's like a print symbol, you press that, and then right here. And then it's already connected to my thermal printer. It's already connected to my label printer, so. It's gonna just start printing the labels up. 
And that's really how you print labels on Shopify. This is for motivational purposes only. Stay on y'all ground with y'all color brands and you'll soon be like this. All I gotta say, motivational purpose only. I was finna sort all these. I'm not finna sort all these. I'm finna just grab and go. Uh, and I think, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I got enough. I don't think I got enough poly millers. Like, and I just ordered a new batch of wristbands. And those bags just came in. And I don't have no stickers. I don't got no stickers. I don't got, what else I'm missing? No stickers, no business cards. Like, I gotta get right for Black Friday though, so. From the, uh, I got some stickers on the way right now, and I got, I'm gonna order my business cards like, mm, Saturday, so, yeah. And if you don't know where to get some business cards from, go to Staples, y'all. Staples give you 500 business cards for $25, so. Like I said, though, finna pack orders, finna set y'all up, so y'all can watch my pack orders. Bro, you too. I just sold, bro. Look. Packing all these orders, right? And I got some over there. Tell me why. Bro, tell me why. These labels are from, like, the last batch that I literally just shipped off, bro. So I have to open up every single last one of these. Well, I don't even know. I know some of the labels are, uh, some of the uh, items I didn't ship out. So, like, I'm literally finna have to go look up every single last one of these. But I have to print off. Some old labels. Bro, it's just a whole bunch of confusing stuff. I ain't gonna lie, but I'm gonna um, be packing like all night basically because I'm trying to get this done. I wonder how this is shipped out by tomorrow. So, for the, um, I'll get back to it. Mm. I'm, I'm gonna pick the camera back up whenever I like get everything situated. Let me explain what happened. So, I had to go through all the packages I basically packaged up. I had to make sure. Now let, let, let me explain why. So look, I had a separate, I had a file like with my labels on it, and I had a file on my computer with all my labels on it. So I printed the file off the labels. I thought it was the right labels, but it was actually the labels for all the orders I literally just shipped off like earlier this week. So I was packing orders right, and I was like, hold on, this order looks familiar. Then I go to look it up. It was like it was already delivered. I was like, bro, I just I just printed off a whole, I just printed off the same labels, but I got it all figured out. So I had to um, what's it called? I found the actual labels I needed. So finna pack until I get done with these labels. So catch y'all when I get back. It's the next day, and I'm not gonna lie, I was not finna pack all the orders last night. But I woke up early this morning just so I could pack them. So I'm finna pack all these orders real quick. And I'm gonna get back to y'all when I'm at the post office. Two, we is back. And let me let me tell y'all bro. This USPS bro. I don't like this USPS. I can't take my packages to the back no more. And then now I gotta come to the front. And I got all these packages. She gonna give me, look, one of these. And I got all these packages. But I'm finna make it work. She still got an attitude too, but hey, it's all right though. If this keep happening, I'm finna go to another USPS. Cause, yeah, I just improvised, don't know. Cause I was not finna uh, make three trips for all these packages. Go in here and see what they say, cause they been on the BS lately, I ain't gonna count. And then you just put that one up on top and then put that other bag on top. And I'll send them to the back. There you go. Could I get some more of these? Huh? Can I get some more of these? Uh, Cause usually they give me some more when I come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright. Drop the packages off, not gonna lie. They bro. All them workers in there, you can tell they don't. What's it called? Every time I come in there, they look surprised because of all the packages I have. But it's really finna be a routine thing, so they're gonna have to get used to it. It's like they don't want to take my packages or nothing. She gonna I asked for some old bags, she only gave me one. But uh, um, Let me go in there. I'm gonna go in there. No, y'all see my grandma stepping for me. <laughs> but you two, I'm gonna get back. I'm gonna get into the video, so I'm gonna catch y'all when I get. Um, I'm gonna catch y'all when I get back to the house. 
y'all was back at the house. Y'all can see I got a whole different fit on. This like, hold on. It's like two days after I shipped all them packages off. But um finna uh get into this video basically how to promote your clothing brand, sell out every single drop. These are steps I take to sell out my drops. So yeah, finna give y'all my steps basically. First thing you wanna do is get samples made for your clothing brand, bro. Okay, when you get samples made, people get to see how it looks like in person, all that type of stuff. With mock-ups, people can't really tell, and you mock-ups can only take you so far. So mock-ups should only be used like just to send to your manufacturer or get like an idea of what you're trying to make. Samples, that's what brings it to life. So yeah, get samples made for the idea that you got created. So once you get the samples, I say like order multiple samples because like you probably gonna want to have like a whole bunch of pictures and all that type of stuff. So yeah, order multiple samples. And if you're doing a photo shoot, you definitely want to order, order multiple samples. And also order multiple samples just to have them. Because, like, what if you need to send them to, like, an influencer or something? But, yeah, order multiple samples, order samples. Mock-ups are not it. Once you order your samples, next thing you want to do is get into the content part. Once you get into the, con the content part, it's, like, making, like, videos, taking pictures, just promoting your stuff, basically. And when you're making content, you don't have to have, like, no camera or anything. You can literally use your iPhone. When I first started out, I was using my iPhone. I still use my iPhone, I'm not gonna lie. Still use my iPhone 13 because like it's real good quality. Just make sure you have the right settings on your camera. And if you don't have the right settings, just go to settings, change your camera quality to like 1080, 60 FPS or 4K, 60 FPS. Yeah, but you're gonna record content, make content, take pictures, all that type stuff. And when you're taking pictures, make sure they're like high quality images because I know some of y'all be taking pictures of uh, like the product on the floor and all that type stuff. I mean, it ain't nothing wrong with it. It's just like it, the pictures be blurry sometimes. Like, so as a consumer, how you gonna convert them if they see like this blurry picture and all that type stuff? If you don't have like the um, the steps to go outside to take pictures and all that type stuff, invest in some studio lights. I'm probably gonna mention like studio lights every single video. I'm using literally hold on, cause look, I'm using a studio light right now, and it's making my lighting look pretty good. And I'm I'm gonna turn it off and watch. See, you see how dark it got, like, yeah, but, yeah, invest in some studio lights, it make your pictures look 100% better, and make sure y'all wipe off y'all cameras before y'all start taking pictures, content, and all that type of stuff. The type of, the type of content you want to make, you're going to have, like, on body pictures, on video pictures, I'm tripping, on video pictures, I'm tripping, but you want to have, like, on, on body pictures, on body videos, and all that type of stuff. That's how you make content, basically, for your clothing brand, just, like, videos pictures make some content with it on you on the ground and all that type of stuff just make content no matter what because like you don't know what you're gonna need that content for it could be anything promotional purposes post on instagram like yeah you need content for your clothing brand next utilize tiktok now tiktok is really organic it's just like when y'all be promoting on tiktok everybody promote this like clothing brand owners y'all they got that they got this thing called TikTok jail. That's why a lot of clothing brand owners be stuck in. It's like y'all have like y'all be stuck at like 200, 300 views. That's because y'all all be making the same type of content. Y'all are basically selling your clothing brand. Like you trying to directly sell it. Now with TikTok, you can't really directly sell it. You gotta like okay, first you gotta make good content. And then I say do like behind the scenes type stuff on TikTok. Cause like you do behind the scenes type stuff, you can like build a customer base and they can see what type of brand you are. But me, I started off on my TikTok account. I literally started off with y'all are doing like selling, just selling. Uh, I started doing like informational videos. And let me tell you, while I was doing the informational videos, I was literally like promoting. I wasn't promoting my clothing brand, but I was promoting my clothing brand because like I was in the background, like showcasing my sweatpants and all that type stuff so yeah i was basically promoting my content but i wasn't promoting my content and people were like the sweatpants are cool where you get them from where the sweatpants where the sweatpants so yeah and it was engaging with the video too because i'm teaching them something while promoting my brand so yeah did two in one basically instagram reels you can use Instagram Reels, but I wouldn't post like the type of content you post on TikTok. I won't post it on Instagram. Instagram Reels, I feel like you should try to sell your brand on there because like that's because it's your clothing brand account and all that type stuff. So push your product out on Instagram Reels because like it's your clothing brand account. Next thing you do, if you have the money for it, get into um ads like Instagram ads, Facebook ads, and just learn how to use ads. I'm gonna make some videos on like detail ad strategies and all that. So make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Be on the lookout for that. Cause I'm gonna make some of those videos like real soon. 
another way you can promote your clothing brand is influencer promo influencer promo you got to be careful and make sure you find the right influencer because like some of these influencers just want free clothes so i'm not gonna lie i've been scammed out of free clothes before i didn't send like three pairs of free clothes to people and i have not got i've got nothing in return like no content no pictures or anything in return but i'm not tripping because like you're gonna take l's in your journey so you gotta lose before you can win that little thing i'm gonna have more big things so yeah that's really how you promote your uh, clothing brand to sell out just um promote your samples make own body content uh, stay consistent too on TikTok. I feel like you should post like three times a day starting out because if you're a new TikTok account, I feel like you definitely should start because you're trying to get your stuff out there. And if you if you um if you're a clothing brand and you're trying to like drop, you need to go ahead already have your TikTok account made, all your brand stuff like Instagram account made. You need to have everything already set up. You don't need to be trying to drop and you don't got nothing set up because that was like real unprofessional. And then you trying to promote. You need to go ahead and build like a base first instead of just trying to drop instantly. So, like I said, that's all I got for this video. I'm going to have some more videos out soon, Instagram methods and all that type stuff. So, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you have any questions, brand-related questions, you can DM me on Instagram. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.